Okay, so in this short video, we're going to look at how we go uh, to how we allocate editor rights to another party. Now, editor rights means that you grant them the right to do what you can do on the website, so design and change the website. So make sure that you only share editor rights with somebody that you trust. Um, so you're into your uh, well. Let's go to where we would start. So let's just get right back to the beginning. Your actual login. Okay, so go to edit site because editor rights is in the edit sites section of the platform. Okay, and then um, once you're in the site editor, go to settings. Okay, so settings and click on settings. And down on the left here, you can see editors. Click on editors, you don't currently have any editors. So this means that only you, the owner of the Weebly account can currently edit. So if you want to add somebody else, top right, add editor. Okay, and then put in the email address of the person that wants to have editing rights and then um, you can put a message in here ex explaining what you're doing but um, you don't need to and then just go down and click save editor and that's going to send an invitation to um, the person that you whose email you put in there and the invitation is going to look like this and it basically invites them to log in with their um, email address now, if they have an account, if they have a Weebly account, they're just logging into their Weebly account and then their Weebly account is being given editing rights. But if you don't have an account, they would need to click sign up, log into Weebly with a free account on this email address, and then they would be able to log into your site because it would come up on their platform. Okay, so um, I hope that makes sense. So basically, Anybody can edit your site that you allocate, but only if they've already, or only if they have a Weebly account. So if they have one already, great. They just log into Weebly using the email address that you've allocated. So it has to be the same as their email address that they use to log into Weebly. Okay, so we ask them, do you have a Weebly account? If they say uh, yes, okay, what's the email you use for that? Put that email in for editing rights, send it to them, and they can log into Weebly with that email address and go straight to your site which will appear on their platform okay um, if they don't have a uh, Weebly account ask them what email address they would like to use to log into a new e uh, Weebly account send them this invitation they then go up here to need an account sign up sign up with this email address put their password in that they choose then they'll have a Weebly account and they will be able to edit your site through it so I hope that makes sense um, so if you ever want to allocate editing rights to somebody else Ask them what the email address is that they want. Um, that's already uh, they've already got a Weebly account with, um, and then once you're sure you've sent them the right email uh, address, just send them the invitation, and they can log in and um, and edit. Okay, I hope that helps. Cheers.